coming up on the border of Scotland and the nearest town is Carlisle and Deepa says after a bit of research that there's a whiskey shop called the House of Malt in Carlisle it could be interesting so we're going to take a little break go and have a look at uh, the House of Malt ah so we found it here we are in Carlisle at House of Malt Surprised to see uh, <laughs> Colonel Taylor in the window. But uh, we've already been in and had a poke around. Ooh, there's a Oxenmore tenure in there. We've had a poke around and have already broken out the, the Elijah Craig barrel proof, so. And in return, we're gonna try a super sherry Glen Rossis. <laughs> Let's see. How many years? It is how many years? How many years? Uh, 22. 22 yeah. years, that does look, let's see. They do have a fantastic chandelier as well. <laughs> yeah. Single cast. Oh. From Morrison oh, Hang on, let me see if I can. So what proof is that? It was about 58, I think, uh, percent, yeah, 58.7. Wow, at 21 years. So that's like 104 yeah. proof, isn't it? Yeah, it's black. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like tar, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so, like, when you saw it in the bottle. It's, it's yeah, I was going to say, because even in the glass, it's that strong. But it's... Top of musty, Yeah, musty, super sherry. Big. It's, it's sweet. Big. Yeah, it's like <laughs> big, big red grapes going on in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's and it's sweet, it's like, mm. Oh, that's strong. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Wow, that is a monster as well, isn't it? Mm. Quite peppery. It's got quite a. It's got everything in that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. Soil and dirt. And yeah, <laughs> it is. It's quite. It's quite earthy, mm. earthy with it, isn't it? It's not like a, it's not like Glendronic where it's just mm. sort of super clean. Mm. It's lost a lot of it, the Glen, the Glen off the spice as well. Yeah. It's still there, but it's um, a lot less spicy than I. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Wow. That's good. Good stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's so civilized here. You can have a drink in, in the shop. In America, you can't uh, you can't taste spirits in the stores. Really? Ah, right. The best they do is they have a little atomizer that they spray into a glass, and you can nose it. Oh. <laughs> That's nearly the same, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so over here, we're trying Elijah Craig. I forgot the batch again. C nine one eight. What do you make of that one? Have you had a barrel proof before? I haven't. No, it's good. Very nice. Did, did you try it? I didn't try that one. No. Well, I think, I think you should. <laughs> I'm Phil, I'm by the way. I'm Phil. Francesca, nice to meet you. Jessica, Deepa. Deepa, nice to meet you. Should have done introductions. I'm, I'm getting it on. Prunes. Yeah, prunes. Yeah, it's uh, prunes and grapes. I'm Phil. Yeah, nice to meet you. 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 Nice all right, I'm going to do, I'll do a little tour of the shop. I should start with the daft mill I see lurking out, out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not I'm, supposed to do that. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing everything that's here is kind of not really for sale. It's more for excitement. Yeah. Because there is a, you can probably see a Springbank local barley 16 up there. Right, what have we got? First, we've got a hole in the floor, which is quite exciting. Yeah, it's um, quite strong, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I see it around. I think I've seen it on Master of Malt and some places, but. Yeah, Master of Malt is yeah they have the standard Elijah Craig and then there's the um, the barrel proof is the straight from the barrel one and that that um, ABV will vary obviously on the the different batches even small batches 47 yeah I think the US is kind of like that though you know the bourbons typically are uh, you know above 40 certainly as Actually, most whiskies are above 40 in the US, even like an old Pulteney yeah. 12 would be 43, except they've just done the new, the new bottle. <laughs> I think there's a lot of miseducation on bourbon in the UK. Um, right. A lot of people are scared of it and just want scotch. Yeah. Well, that's kind of why we brought the bottles over because we give it to friends and they're like, wow, this is bourbon? I thought it was just like Jack Daniels, which, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, well, yeah. lots of people sort of think like that's just it's just fine. Because I love bourbon, there's a lot, there's a lot of craft in bourbon that I think people are missing, um, probably more so than scotch. Right. There's, there's more, yeah. There's more. Oh, it's the new Isla Bar. Right. I mean, the bourbons are, they have their strict rules, like, like other places have their rules. Mm -hmm. But the water allows colour in anything in the bourbon, but the right. scotch. That's true. Yes, the um. The uh, the colouring thing is annoying to most whiskey nerds, isn't it? Let's face it, it's just not. Yeah, we did a blind taste yeah, ourselves, where we where we got some E one fifty A and just did some blind tasting. Yeah, we've got some somewhere, it's not uh, nice. No, and even if just one drop into a, a glass of uh, Kilhoman, yeah. Accio Bay, yeah. you could still, like, if you were really searching, like, I think it's this one, and we were right most of the time. Yeah. Mm. Just a little cardboardy kind of aftertaste yeah. left with it. It's not great, really. Look, it's the American department. Just a bunch of stags sitting on the shelf here. Of your choice, either year or a pappy. Oh, nice at the bottom there, I'm not overly familiar with that range. It's, uh, oh, yeah. It's a small batch as well, isn't it? I've had it once. Four year old rye, I think. See, even Weller Special Reserve is <laughs> it's, it's hard to, to find over in the US now. And uh, Kings County, bottom left. Brooklyn. Where am I looking? I went back to the studio last year. Is that this one? Uh, little tiny the one little one? Yeah. Oh yeah, Kings, Kings County. Good stuff. Yeah, Kings County stuff is really nice. The barrel, the, the barrel store is like the same size as this room. Yeah. The barrel is like, you know, kind of latest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, tiny. Right. It's good. The nice is good. Aha. Uh -huh. What are Glen Cairns being used here? Yeah. yeah, let's get back to the, get back, to, oh you saved me some. Ooh, yeah, mm. prunes, great, nice. earthy. <laughs> Strong, yeah, 58 ABV was it? Peppered grapes. <laughs> Strong tobacco, bit of tobacco going on there as well. Yeah, a little to the bitter side. Yeah, a bit of licorice. Mm. Yes. Twenty-one, I think. Very good. 
Not a good shot. 